Hello, heat transfer happens due to the temperature difference, always from hot to cold, in three different ways, conduction, convection, and radiation. Today I'm going to show you some simple science experiments to demonstrate the heat transfer. Conduction always happens in solids. So here I have five different metals attached to the center of um, this rod. Remember the wood is a good insulator because it's a poor conductor. Anything with a poor conductivity is a good insulator. Um, I'm going to attach five metal pins, like this, identical, to the tip of five different metals uh, with the help of a small amount of petroleum jelly or Vaseline. So, But make sure you have the same amount for all the pins. When all the pins are stuck at the tip, you light the candle and turn it over, make sure the heat goes right the center, the metal with the better conductivity uh, would transfer the heat quicker to the pin, would melt the wax or the Vaseline and would drop the pin. So the copper dropped first. Aluminium was the second one. Brass was the third one. We have iron. Second way we can check the heat conductivity of these four metals is with this device that has some crystal liquid inside that is sensitive to the heat. So let's pour some boiling water inside the beaker. I'm not going to have a look, I'm sure you can guess which one would conduct the heat quicker. Is it moving? Yes. Make sure you don't dip the whole thing inside, the crystal liquid should be outside. Just the metal part goes inside the hot water. All right, you can clearly see the color change, copper, aluminum, brass, and steel. The order of conductivity. We have learned that um, the particles or molecules of the substance would expand, would go further apart when they are heated. Um, so let's test this, see if it actually works or not. So here we have a metal, metal ball here and that's a ring so this metal ball can easily fit inside the ring and it actually goes through easily uh, while it's cold so i'm going to heat up this metal ball and see if it still would fit inside or not okay i've been heating this up for one minute let's test it now see if the particle has been expanded due to the heat or not it doesn't go through if i push it hard go in and out so now to complete our theory if I cool this down now it should go to uh, its original size because particles get closer to each other so currently it doesn't go through to cool it down I can either leave it in a room temperature or just dip in a cold water so it's cold now and you can see easily goes back inside the ring sorted and so put this away <sighs> this metal board is still so cool although I dipped it inside ouch this is hot too okay Please be careful, don't touch this hot stuff. The Bonsai burner is hot too. Just leave it for a while to cool down. Let's move to the convection. Uh, we're talking about the convection. This is a beaker filled with water and we have a candle and we have a potassium permanganate. So I'm gonna put the potassium permanganate, uh, permanganate uh, <laughs> into the, the water, the <laughs> cold water. Ooh. Okay. 
Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you look at the camera as well. <laughs> and have some cinematic scenes. What? Okay. Sorry. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, he knows how to use it. He has Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Watch. I need to show this. Bernie so Candles. Uh, they should just have a yeah. montage. <laughs> Some more cinematic yeah. scenes. So we have a candle to heat this up. I don't see what's going on. So as we can see, the potassium permanent magnet. Just say uh, the dye. The, the dye. dye. Okay, sure. go, okay, go. On. So as we can see, the dye is starting to rise up because the hot air is going to the top because the cold air is more dense and the hot air is less dense because of convection all the water has the same color hello everybody welcome to mr yes that shell so today we're learning about convection currents through all right can we just drop the drama and all this it down a bit okay, that's why okay. It so as we know uh, convection currents occurs in Fluid. fluids and uh we'll see how it works now so if we uh, put some potassium per and then <laughs> potassium per mag <laughs> magnet. Per magnet. To, uh, we put some potassium per magnet uh, in, in, in this uh, uh, water. So we have a rectangle tube here. We have a rectangle. It's filled by water. Make sure it's leveled. Okay. Perfect. All right. Five days later. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault that this cone is so stupid. How natural, Marvin. I know, right? Liquids. Ooh, All right. Okay. So, for more, or is that fine? So, we can see it's staying there. So, now light up the candle. So, heat up. We are going to gradually heat up the liquid, which is the water. Place it on there. Look, it's falling. Have a look. Oh. The earth is flat. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, we're gonna show convection currents in gases. So, we have a candle inside, and this gonna have a chimney effect. Over here, it's gonna take the air in and it's gonna remove the air from here. Why the air is going out from there? It's gonna go out from here because there's a heat source below it. So, the air over here would start getting hotter and thus getting more, less denser, and it go up. Over here, because we can't have a vacuum over here, even though. Thus, that is why we should, that's why air would come from outside to replace it. Because cold air is heavier, it's going to sink in here. Ooh. Okay, so that's the smoke. Ooh, yes. <laughs> very good. Very nice. <laughs> Heat transfer by radiation doesn't require a medium it can occur in space and that is how we receive heat from the sun my students are going to conduct two experiments to show you how the um, radiation is emitting from the different surfaces leslie cube has four different um, sides do you want to tell us about the colors this is a this is a sh matte black no that's shiny one this is the shiny one this is the shiny one shiny black this? matte black this is matte black this is a shiny metal metallic shiny. metallic and this is white this is white okay so what we're going to do what we're going to fill this with we're going to fill this with boiling water and to check the temperatures to check which uh emits the most heat yeah. yeah which surface would emit the most heat yeah so we have set up four thermometers here we're going to place this right the center here I'll bring the camera closer to show you and um Amar, do you want to tell us about that one? Yeah, sure. So we have two here, our containers, okay? The first container is dull black or matte black, any of which. And the second container is shiny metal. We fill up with the boiling water. They have a thermometer in there and see what we notice about the temperature change. Which one would emit more heat, therefore would drop the temperature quicker. Yeah. So you have to make a bloopers version. Bloopers version? Yeah, my whole video is up bloopers. <laughs> So we've, we've added the boiling water in this cube. Uh, right now the temperature of the boiling water is about 86. Uh, we've added thermometers around each 
of the surfaces to check of to check which emits the most. Right. Make sure the thermometer is not uh, exactly touching the surface, or that would become conduction and not radiation. Danish, can you read the temperatures for, from each? So first, this one is a shiny black. This one is about this one is one's about forty degrees. This is. 37, 38. The white one? Yeah. And that one. Shiny. That's a metallic. The shiny. metallic one is 35. And this one's a, this one is 41. 41. So yeah. if we find the order, the matte black, the best emitter, yeah. then we have a shiny black, white, and then metallic shiny. Yeah. That's the order of yeah. radiation transfer. Okay, brilliant. Leslie Cube. Thank you, Danish. Amar, what do we have here? So we filled also the, the two other containers with boiling water um, in order to check which uh, emits the most heat. We have uh, put two thermometers in each of them. In matte black container, the temperature is 72. And what is this one? We've got around 74, 75. 74, so this one, the matte black is losing more heat, radiating more, emitting more heat. Yeah. And that's what we're expecting. If we leave it for longer, I get back to it now, see that the more temperature drops. Thank you very much again for watching our video. Uh, Danish, Amar, thank you, and all other my students who are in this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like my videos. Don't forget that, please. Thank you. Bye. Thank Don't you forget. Are.